Lesson 10.4, circumference and arc length. Now, the circumference of a circle is the perimeter or distance around the circle. And that formula is circumference equals 2 pi r. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, circumference equals 2 pi r. Okay. And the blank of a circle is a portion of its circumference. Now, this is a new idea we're working with here. The arc length. And I'll give you a visual of that in just a moment. Then we have the blank of a circle is a portion of the total degree measure of a circle. Okay, and that would be the arc measure. All right. Of a circle is a portion of the total degree measure of a circle, 360 degrees. All right, now important note, an arc's length is different from an arc's measure. They're different. All right, how so? Well, let's look at the diagram below. A circle's name using its center point. This is circle P. All right. Now, here we have this notation here. This notation represents the arc length. Just AB with this arc symbol above it. And if we look at the example we have, this is the length, arc length AB, which in this case is 18 pi inches, okay? And then we have the total circle arc length. Well, what's the arc length going all the way around a circle? That's simply the circumference. And in this case, what is r? 27. So it would be 2 pi times 27 in this case. Then we have measurement of arc AB. Notice the difference between these two. One has an m, the other one doesn't. This one's the measurement. All right, now what's the measurement of this arc? Well, let's go to this angle here. It's 120 degrees. So that means this arc is 120 degrees. Then you have the total circle arc measure. Well, what's the measure Measure going all the way around a circle in degrees? 360. Okay. The main thing I want to point out once again is the difference between these two. All right, very important to understand the difference between those two. One is a length and the other is a measure. All right, now we have this chart below to help us derive the formula for arc length. Okay, so what we have below here. Arc length ABC. Well, let's look at the arc length here. ABC. All right, that's how much of the circumference of the circle. It's half the circumference of the circle. That's what I'm putting on top. And on the bottom, I have the total arc length. What's well, the arc length always going all the way around a circle? That's the circumference, 2 pi r. All right, so right away, what happens here? These cancel out. What am I left with? One half. All right, let's go on to the next one. Here I have arc length ABC. Well, that's how much of the circle? One-fourth. So it's one-fourth the circumference over what's the total circumference? Two pi r. These cancel out. I'm left with one-fourth. All right, then I have arc length A. B, C. All right, that's how much of a circle? Three-fourths. It's three-fourths of the circumference over the total, which is 2 pi r. These cancel out. I'm left with three-fourths. All right, let's go to the next ratio. Here I have measurement of arc ABC. Well, what's the measurement of this arc? It's half a circle, 180 degrees. What's the total arc measure going all the way around the circle? 360 degrees. So that reduces to one half. What's the arc measure for a quarter of a circle? It's 90 degrees. What's the measure going all the way around the circle? 360. What does that reduce to? One fourth. All right, then we have the arc measure for three quarters of a circle. So 3 times 90, essentially, which is 270. 
And what's the total arc measure going all the way around? 360. What does that reduce to? 3 fourths. All right, now notice the relationship. That's a half. That's a half. This is a fourth. This is a fourth. This is 3 fourths. This is 3 fourths. All right, well, when you look at this relationship, the ratios are always equal to each other, right? All right, so that means this, these general ratios that we have on top here, they must always be equal to each other, and that yields a formula. So to answer this question below, what is the relationship between them, the arc measure, and the ratio of the arc length to its circumference? They are equal. All right, so going to some examples now, we're going to apply this formula. Here's our formula here. This is going to be a nice tool for us to use. All right, so it says find the length of YZ. Arc YZ. So that's what we're working with right here in this formula. So I have measurement of YZ. Let me just write this all out for you so you can see exactly what we're doing. This is how I'm using the formula above here. All right, so measurement of arc YZ, I already know that. It's 120. And then I have over 360. And that's equal to the arc length for YZ over 2 pi. And what's R? 9. All right, so just simplifying this, I have 1 third is equal to YZ arc YZ over 18 pi. All right, and now I will cross multiply. So I have 3 times the arc length of YZ is equal to 18 pi. Divide by 3. And arc YZ is equal to 6 pi, in this case, inches. All right, done. We're going to do plenty of examples here so you get the hang of how to apply this formula. All right, for the next one, we have to find not the length, but the measure. All right, so I'm going to set up the formula once again. All right, this time I'm looking for this value. All right, so measurement of arc YZ over 360 is equal to arc length of yz, which is 9 pi, over 2 pi r. What's r in this case? 27. All right, so I have measurement of arc yz over 360. That's equal to 9 pi over 54 pi. All right, this is going to simplify here. I'm going to get 1 over 6. Now I will cross multiply. Be very careful when you cross multiply. Don't lose track of the values we have here. So I'm going to have 6 times the measurement of arc YZ is equal to 360. All right, so now I divide by 6. And the measurement of arc YZ is equal to 60 degrees. All right, piece of cake. Once you understand, I'll apply the formula. It's just a simple proportion. All right, let's do a couple more examples to ensure that we understand this concept thoroughly. Find the radius of circle S. Okay, we don't know the radius. All right, here I have arc RT. I'm going to write out the formula once again. Then I have arc RT over 2 pi r. All right, so measurement of arc RT, what is it? Here I have 45 degrees, so the arc measure must be 45 degrees. So we have 45 over 360. That's equal to arc RT, the length of it, which is 2 pi over 2 pi r. All right, what's going to happen here? I have 45 over 360, that reduces to 1 over 8. And then the 2 pi's cancel out here. I'm left with a 1 on top. So I have 1 times r, which is r. And I have 1 times 8, which is 8. So the radius is 8 centimeters. Done. Part D, find the circumference. All right, here I have arc CA. So using the formula, I'm going to have measurement of arc AC 
over 360 degrees is equal to arc AC over 2 pi r. Okay, measurement of arc AC, what is it? This is 90 degrees here, so the measurement is 90 degrees over 360 degrees, and that's equal to arc AC, which is 4 pi, over 2 pi r. Okay? Now, you could cancel the pi's out here and simplify it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it intentionally because I'm trying to find the circumference, and this is the circumference right here. So I don't want to mess with this expression right here. I want to leave it intact and isolate it. Then I will have found the circumference. So I could simplify this here. This is 1 fourth. All right, so now I'm going to cross multiply, and I get 2 pi r is equal to, I get 4 times 4 pi, which is 16 pi. All right, now, once again, you're not trying to isolate r. I want to find the circumference. Here I have 2 pi r. 2 pi r is the what? The circumference. So I'm done already. Circumference is 16 pi. In this case, it's just units. All right, done with that one. All right, for the next one, find the measure of arc ABC. A, B, C. All right, measurement of arc ABC over 360 degrees is equal to arc ABC over 2 pi r. All right, so measurement of arc ABC, that's what I'm trying to find, over 360 degrees is equal to what is the length? for arc ABC. It's 16 pi, and then I have the circumference, which is just 2 pi r, and r is 12. So I have measurement of arc ABC over 360 is equal to 16 pi over 24 pi. All right, the pi's cancel out. I could divide 8 into both of these. I have 2 thirds. Now I will cross multiply, so I have 3 times the measurement of arc ABC is equal to 720. Now I divide by 3. And measurement of arc ABC is equal to... 720 divided by 3 is 240. Done. And the last example. Find the circumference of circle P. All right, so you have measurement of QR over 360 is equal to the length of arc QR over 2 pi r. All right, so the measure of QR, what is it? It's 80 degrees over 360 degrees. And that's equal to QR, which is 6 pi, the arc length, 6 pi, over 2 pi r. All right, once again, I'm not going to do anything to the 2 pi r. Why? Because I'm trying to find the circumference. So I'm going to simplify this fraction over here. Let's see, what goes into 80 and 360? Um, 40. So this is 2, and this is, would be 9. Okay. So now I'm going to cross multiply. All right, but I'm not going to do anything with this formula here. I'm not going to multiply the twos. I want to keep them separated. All right, so I have 9 times 6, which is 54 pi. All right, now what are we going to do? This is the circumference here once again. Don't mess with it. Get rid of that 2 by dividing. So 2 pi r is equal to 27 pi. And now we are done. We found the circumference, 2 pi r. So the circumference is equal to 27 pi. And in this case, it's units. All right. Very simple problems once you understand how to apply the formula. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask. Begin the assignment.